headset. Zookeeper for the arcades, developed and published by Taito, it was released for the arcades in 1982, designed by Keith Egging and John Morgan while programmed by Rex Battenberg, Mark Blachick, and again John Morgan, up to two players take control of the titular character, and have to keep the animals in their enclosures so you can rack up the points. You control the zookeeper by using this control panel. The joystick makes him move in multiple directions while the button makes him jump. Another underrated gem from the golden age that doesn't get talked about enough, but that's what I'm here for. You're just an ordinary zookeeper doing his job of building walls to keep the animals from escaping and trying to trample you. You can keep going around to build more wall, but the animals inside will keep gnawing away at it, some of which will eventually get loose. The best thing you can do is jump over them, and the more you jump over, the better the point value, and wait for the net to spawn in so you can put those escapees right back where they rightfully belong. Each level of this type has a timer that will spawn in other collectibles at certain points like brewskis or sundays cause this is thirsty work. When you survive the time limit you'll move on to the next round with increased difficulty and extra bonuses for every animal within your walls. As you get farther you'll notice the types of animals you trap will lead to bigger bonuses and every now and then you'll be given a platforming stage where you have to scale the moving platforms to rescue your girlfriend Zelda, not that one, from a monkey throwing down a barrage of coconuts. You can try to grab bonus items on your way up but once you reach the top you'll be her here hero and you'll move right along to keeping the zoo in check. There's one level I wasn't able to show off and that's the second platforming stage where you jump over animals for extra points and the chance to get an extra life. Every level type will become increasingly difficult upon revisiting but I just had trouble getting past the zoo keeping levels on my playthrough. If you do touch any of the animals or anything else considered hazardous, you'll lose a life. Lose all your lives and the game is over. Overall, this is a fun arcade title. I love to play this game whenever I see it and I recommend you do the same. Too bad it didn't get a home port in its time or today only showing up in a random title compilation. However, there is a good looking 2600 homebrew that I'm dying to get so I can enjoy one of Zeke's pastimes at home. Did you know his name was Zeke? He climbs mountains on his days off. And stop. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to like, share, and comment on the video, and if you want to see more quick views, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Brian the Blue, and I'll see you next time.